Hey there, Salt Strong family. This is Pat Ogletree, and I want to talk to you about one of my favorite lures to fish in the wintertime, and that is the Slam Shady 2.0. Now, one of the reasons why I like fishing this lure so much in the wintertime is, if you notice, it's a smaller profile, and the forge for the fish in the wintertime is going to be a little bit smaller, and this mimics that almost perfectly. Now, there's three different ways that I like to rig these lures in the wintertime. And the first one is just like this. It's on an owner twist lock. Now, when I rig this one, it's typically when the fish are actively feeding or if I'm trying to cover ground to find out where they're at. The way that I'm gonna work this lure when I got it rigged this way is it's basically just a straight cast and just a straight reel in. That's if I'm actually trying to cover ground and find fish. Now, if I wanna slow down, say the fish aren't actively biting, then I could just do a twitch, twitch pause or I can even just crawl it right on the bottom. Now, the cool thing about a paddle tail lure is there really is no wrong way of fishing it. It's a very versatile lure, and that's, that's what's key in the wintertime because you've got all these fluctuations in the uh, temperature from week to week and day to day, and you need something that can cover a lot of different scenarios. Now, the second way I like to rig the Slam Shady 2.0 is with the tail pinched off. Now, this essentially turns it into a jerk bait. Now, the scenarios that I like to throw this in is when I actually when I see active tailing fish and I'm going to sight cast them or if I've located a group of fish and I want to work the area more thoroughly. Now, that's going to look something like this where I'm just going to throw it out there. If I see the fish, I'm going to put it right in front of it and then I'm going to just slowly give it a little couple of twitches just to get the fish's attention. Now, when I find a group of fish and I want to dissect that area, the length of the pauses and the aggressiveness of the twitches are going to be dependent on the warming trend or if it's cooling trend. Now, if it's cooling trend, the twitches are going to be really slight and there's going to be lots of pause in between them. Now, if it's a warming trend, that's going to be more aggressive. We're going to have more aggressive twitches and less time in between the, uh, the twitches, so your pauses will be shorter. Then you always let the fish decide. Just keep mixing it up until you find out what they like. Now, the third way that I like to rig this is on a mushroom jig head. So when I'm rigging on a mushroom jig head, I like to slowly crawl it along the bottom, or what I'll do is I'll just slightly twitch it just a little bit, and then reel in the slack, and then slightly twitch it up again, and then reel in the slack. Now, if that doesn't work, what you can also do is you can just dead stick it. Just soak the thing with some uh, scent, like some Dr. Juice. And if you know fish are in the area, you can just cast to it and just let it sit. And a lot of times that is just irresistible to these fish. Now, when you're dragging along the bottom, this will actually stand up on its end like this, and that tail will wiggle. And that is just, uh, it, that'll just call the fish in. And even when it's dead stick, when it's just sitting there like this, the current and the water movement will actually make that tail wiggle just a little bit too. Between that and the scent, this is definitely a winner with lethargic fish. Now, this Slam Shady is just one of the colors that we offer. Now, this probably is the most universal of all the colors. It works in just about every water clarity and water tint. It's, it's a very, very effective color. doesn't matter if the water's clear, if it's dark, if it's muddy. This works really good. We also have a color called Gold Digger. That primarily works really good in darker tinted water and in muddy water. We have a FRED, which is the acronym is Fooling Redfish Every Day. That's primarily for clear water. It works really, really good in the wintertime for clear water. And then if you run into a situation where there's a lot of bait around and you need to get something that is going to get the attention of the fish that's not going to get mixed in with the crowd, then the Flamingo Joe is the way to go. It's a bright pink lure and that will definitely get the fish's attention. So if you've ever wanted to try any of these lures, right now we've got an outstanding offer. We have what we call an 11 for one. You'll get 11 of these lures for just one cent plus shipping. As always, thanks for watching and until next time, we'll see you later. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know we're the best online fishing club in America, especially if you're interested in catching redfish, sea trout, snook, and flounder. There's nothing else like it. We actually guarantee that you catch more fish while saving time and money. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.